Welcome back to our thousand item declutter challenge. This is part two of the cupboard. We're going to do the final top section that's here and also the bench area where the jewelry and the other knickknack stuff is. So this top section, I was going to leave it, but curiosity killed the cat and I decided to grab the step stool and just have a little climb up there to see if there was anything extra on top of the suitcases that we have. I didn't actually open any of the suitcases, so I don't know if there's anything stored inside of them I doubt it but I might check that out later but for now I'm glad that I did climb up there because I pulled a couple of things out I'm going to get rid of this black bag it's uh, one from Avon originally but it's a little bit too small for me but the other bags I'm going to keep there's like a little daisy bag from Avon and a beach bag and a packing tote as well into the middle section now and this is the kind of throw all there used to be so much more stuff in here and I honestly thought there was when I was first uh, pulling it out a couple of months ago first of all we have this little thing that helps you sit up in bed and I did used to have it until it banged into the wall so much behind the bed and it took the plaster away from the wall <laughs> now we just use pillows uh, we have a tr Christmas tree skirt thing that pretty much the Christmas tree doesn't get put up so we're going to get that donated I've been collecting a few things for sort of Kira's glory box if and when she ever moves out of home and just excess stuff that we get from like the Coles and flybys promotions um, oh we have some Easter eggs up here <laughs> whoops and we have lots of dress up stuff when I was doing a lot of Zumba stuff pre-2020 I used to have a lot of theme nights um, so we would have like Halloween type thing we did a Gatsby theme we've done uh, lots of stuff we do themes every now and again if people want to dress up they can but yeah I like to just have a few decorations around the place also making sure I'm vacuuming out I can't believe how dusty some parts of the house get so I'm just packing back these are a couple of uh, saucepans and stuff like that I'll store them up there later on when we go through the kitchen I'm sure I'll find some other bits and pieces that I can stick up there as well I found my stethoscope that I had from nursing school so just check that I'm still alive yep all good so we're going to keep that because one it works and it's important and two it looks good for decoration and that's also <laughs> important this cupboard is also the general store away, so we've got a present that I would have got for Kira. I couldn't reach in the cupboard, so I'll throw it in the bed for now. Some chocolates uh, for hubby's birthday coming up that they're still in date. Don't worry, I did have a look. I've got these pillowcase things, cushion covers. I bought a whole lot of them to join together to be like a bed runner for the old black and white quilt cover that we used to have we've got some wrapping paper that's in here we've got an old jewelry box there's other random bits and pieces in here like there's a travel mug and there were some notepads and some pens and other stuff that are obviously shoved up here for small presents if we need a present in a hurry my mum used to have a present box for that exact reason there used to be lots of little toys I completely forgot a couple of things that were up here including some of the things you'll see pull out I can't speak too loudly because my daughter's in the other room probably listening to me right now and even though I'm pretty sure that the children know that this is where we shove all the presents they never come up here so I will just throw them on the bed for a second and then I'll move them into the other cupboard that's there Christmas is not too far away I'm going to vacuum out this area as well this box that I have here and this book they're just all wedding cards we got an engagement cards and other birthday cards and special event stuff and I started sticking them all in a book and then I've kept them in the black box like I said and there's also my wedding favors in there you know the things they give you that hang off the arm that the little what are they got like little pillows and decorative things I had heaps and heaps of them uh, yeah so that's all in there safely uh, shared for another day and I will stick these away too. So I'm just going to pull out the couple of bags that I was storing underneath the table and I've gone and put them in the car so they can be sitting there ready when I next end up at the savers because we need the space. So let's get rid of them. So we'll just shove straight away down here that 
set up bed thing and also the Christmas tree skirt ready to go. Uh, we have a Rara skirt a dress that I would have had for one of the Gatsby themes and this massive tutu thing. <laughs> I don't know where I thought I was going to be wearing that. I think I bought it actually from a costume shop and it was going to go underneath a 1950s poof dress that I have that you'll see coming up soon but I have that black tutu from one of my other dresses so I'll keep and use that one instead. I uh, got the travel mug that's there. It's actually a ceramic travel mug. We'll donate that on. This is my really old jewelry box. We'll donate that on as well and oh here's that skirt that I was telling you about. It's got a cute little poodle. I bought that from a um, dress up shop that was going out of business as well. I've got a little fairy costume thing that I wore when I was doing Zumba Kids. <laughs> if you're interested in a 20 minute Zumba Kids video, uh, we have that up on the channel as well. I don't get monetized by it, but I just put it up because it was something for kids to do during COVID. couple of smaller little makeup bags that I'm going to keep it as put to the side oh my gosh this was a little handbag that's the imitation guest bag when I was in Avon so many people were obsessed with guests and I could never afford one of the handbags and I found this at the markets I think it was like 20 bucks or something and I purchased that and oh my gosh I was absolutely in love with this bag I have used it it's nearly worn out to pieces this bag I'm donating it was my mum's she lent it to me but it is so heavy so it's heavy before you even put anything in there. I have two bags that are exactly the same. They're across a body bag and originally from Avon as well. So I'm going to actually throw out the older one because part of the strap is ripped and I wouldn't want to do that, donate that onto anyone. And the cushion covers, we're going <laughs> to throw those in there because it won't match with anything left in the house. Oh, another little Rara skirt we have to be donated. And this black tote bag I am keeping, it's also from Avon. It was part of this thing called a signatures range. I know nobody cares, but I, yeah, I remember weird things like that. But I'm going to keep it because it's a nice open tote, if that makes any sense. So if I need to carry around a lot, laptop or folders or something, that is only you know if I don't need to zip anything up then I would carry that and we have some random dress up stuff as well oh this I have had this forever in a day I think I started knitting this when I was about 13 or something it is a round blanket type thing it has all the circular knitting needles with it I started knitting it with one of my grandparents many many moons ago and like every year I'd get it out and do a little bit more and then put it away and um, I'm just a bit over it now. I was meant to be knitting it for one day when I have a baby. And then I did have a baby and it's still <laughs> not finished. We had a, a mask that we're going to get rid of. It's actually got a headband on it, which is good. So if you wear glasses like me, you can still wear a mask and have your glasses on underneath. It was awesome, but it's just starting to fall apart. If someone has a hot glue gun, I'm sure they'll be able to fix it. And some other decorations. We have a couple of hats here. One of them I'm going to donate on, but this other one I'm going to keep because it's actually an adult size hat and it will look good for a dance thing if I need to do a dress up at any stage. And also we have a tube of Easter egg chocolates. Oh, here's my broom as well. For <laughs> I'm going to donate that on. I'll just throw it underneath the desk. These are the last sets of drawers that I need to go through. Half of them are hubbies and the other side are mine. So this first drawer, I had already gone through with him, but I just wanted to double check. So in the bottom, we've got a couple of those travel, I call them body bags, suit bags. Um, I was gonna hang them up in the wardrobe, but they're just easier to stay in the drawer. And then we have hubby's bathers. Why he has four sets of bathers, I do not know. He pretty much wears the same pair every year but we don't also go swimming very often either. Now these two little drawers are mine and inside here would be scarves and gloves and any random thing that I don't know where it should go, it would be in here. So we're just going to dump everything onto the bed.
I forgot that then I did empty all the rest of the drawers that were here. This basket of stuff is freshly washed and cleaned from a couple of months ago and I just left it in the basket because I thought I don't want to have to put it all away in the drawers just to dump it out on the bed so I just left it there so you would have seen me cleaning around it and also I've put all of these clothes away and then realized we actually have another basket in the lounge room that I'm going to have to put away I'll do it off camera but that is everything that we are going to keep that I'd washed from the original pile from hubby section and anything else I found on the floor So this pile is a mixture of everyday clothing, active wear, pyjamas, just lots of stuff. So we'll go through some of them and work out what's worth. This pink top, way too bright for me and I probably bought it for a pink ribbon breast cancer fundraising event. But so we'll donate that one on. We have a pair of black pants. These are like the $6 pants you get from Kmart. And no doubt some of the crotch in the seam has gone because I've got quite wider legs at the top. So they've got holes they need to go. Some of the clothes that I have here and I've been keeping why I don't know because I've never even worn them since I purchased them. This was a red turtleneck top that I remember that I got from Harbour Town. Oh my gosh, I would say. 10 years ago now <laughs> uh, there's a mixture of my Zumba shirts here as well so I'm just going to throw those to the side my son's pants are in here for some reason they probably got kicked into the corridor with everything else so I'll fold them up and give them back to him I have a green Christmas shirt which I remember I purchased from Big W it was like $20 I left my Christmas run too late to get something to wear to Zumba so that's unfortunately what I got but then the next year I got this Rudolph top which I will be keeping luckily I found that when I was decluttering the lounge room so I'll throw that down on the floor because it needs to get washed for some reason we have some of our crop tops in here as well that we are not keeping because I don't wear that much upper support anymore. I used to have a bra and a crop top and sometimes another supportive top and now I kind of don't jump around as much. So we'll donate those on. Some of them being worn once, that's it. We have another pink top. I obviously was going to be doing some sort of event and figured that colour would look really good. Uh, some more came up black pants. <laughs> I'm gonna just throw all of them into a pile and look at them later because there are a few weird holes in weird places if that makes any sense. There's actually a couple of pairs that you'll see at the end that I got rid of a couple of years ago in Townsville. I packed without paying much attention to what I was doing. Oh, <laughs> another drawer full of stuff. And we were in Townsville and my mum said to me, you've got black and white underwear on. And I went, what? And she's like, I can tell. And there was a hole in the bottom of my black pants. So I threw them out. And then the second pair I put on, I had another hole. I didn't even know. Because normally I just wear plain black underwear because I'm boring. So I kept that footage for two years just to add it on and to add a count. This drawer as well is also the mixture of belts and scarves and weird things oh we have curtain ties here that are planning for when I do the bedroom makeover they've only been in this drawer probably for about five years I'm pretty sure pre 2020 was when I purchased them and yes random other bits and pieces
This purple jacket, a lady from a church made it for me to go over one of the purple dresses. So I'm going to put that on the side as well as a couple of other organza pieces of scarf things that I found. And I'll put them with the dresses when I'm going to sell them. This black and white top was originally from Avon. I wore it everywhere. I absolutely loved it, but it's starting to get a couple of moth holes in it now. I thought about keeping a couple of the basic activewear tops, but I just don't use them because I tend to just wear the Zumba tops that I already have because I like to have a top with a little bit more of a sleeve in it. So hang on to my Zumba standard activewear. Well, they're just um, clothes from Big W and came up. Oh, this Zumba jacket my girlfriend Victoria gave to me when she came to Adelaide when we went to the gala dinner. So I'm just gonna put that with all of my other Zumba gear to hold on to. And we'll just go through the rest of the clothing that's here. Some pieces of clothing, like I said. Oh, another Christmas top that can get donated with the red um, shorts that we had a minute ago. I obviously also had bought a few bits and pieces ready for various videos and things and I think I've moved on from some of the ideas that I was going to do so we'll just donate them on and some of them still have their original savers and salvos tags so I'm sure that it will be a quick way for them to get it back into circulation into the main shop. So folding everything away that's going and shoving everything else into the red bag for donation and here's the footage that I've kept for two years to show you that I threw out two pairs of pants to remind myself so it's been about two years in the making of getting this um, sorted this is now the three drawers that are in my bedside table and there's nothing interesting hiding in here except 200 tissues and um, some old bras and just other random stuff that's in here there's nothing rude in my top drawer uh, so I'm just going through then the next drawer is underwear and then we have socks I have already gone through my main underwear because when I got sick last year I needed good reliable underwear so I had already gone through it so I've kept a bag um, that I had by my bedside table and every time I had some underwear where some of the elastic was loose or there was an issue I just threw it out and then I was just keeping count of it because as I said I knew that I'd eventually get to cleaning out these drawers um yeah <laughs> we also have random things in here I have a peg in here for some reason I had a container of um, safety pins in here and apart from all random tissues I think there was a thing of hand cream in here at one time so if it's been on the top side of my bedroom there it's fallen into the drawer I need to clean the top of my counter as well sorting out the socks as well trying to find pairs for everything work out what bras do and don't fit me some bras part of the wire is snapped I need to replace it I actually have the replacement wire but it's just a step now of finding said wire Next up we have this dressing table area and I've always kept it pretty minimal but it's time for it to go. So the first thing is this silver box that originally I got from uh, Avon so we're going to put all the jewellery in there. We've got this wine bottle shoe holder thing that I <laughs> would never put wine in but it was the thing in Avon that just about everyone had one so I got one as well. Of course I bought it on clearance 
and it's just sat here as decoration ever since. I will be keeping this glass swan. It was my Nana's, so I'm just going to polish it up later. Uh, an empty guest box that my watch came in, the one piece of jewellery that I own. I saved up for it and managed to get it on a discount as well. Saved all my Avon money to purchase that. It was only $200, but at the time it seemed like a lot of money. I have my tiara here and also my old squad necklace that I had for my Avon team. So I'm going to donate those and hopefully someone will then find them if they're starting on there direct selling adventures we seem to have an old necklace that's here from a dress up thing and a couple of artificial flowers we have a box of random bits and pieces in here there was a bracelet that i pulled apart a minute ago and all the elastic it was obviously old and that those pearls just went everywhere so i might be finding individual pearls around the bedroom for a couple of days i've got these roller things that were sent to me as some promo thing i'm talking five six years ago yeah there's the broken necklace <laughs> and you meant to put oils in them or something i don't know so i'm gonna just donate them i hope that someone finds them and puts them to good use Just a cheap little glass mold thing that I got when I think we went to see the Melbourne Aquarium like over 10 years ago now. Oh, and these little glass blown roller skates. These are my favorite possession. My mum got these for me when we visited Cryo Castle when I was about 13. I was into figure skating in roller skates and there was a glass blower up in the tower at Crow Castle and mum asked him to make a set of roller skates so he did uh, so that was super exciting just picking out the random things also here a phone case for some reason that I've never used I think someone gave it to me and a glasses case that I got from the Salvos quite a few months ago actually it was in one of my thrift haul videos a lot of this jewellery is ex Avon, so a lot of it is just costume jewellery. So I'm just going through and double checking. Um, so I'm going to stick it all into this box and then it can be donated. Oh, I'm going to keep a few little things uh, either to use in junk journaling or maybe some decoration or something down the track I don't know no doubt if they're still here though in a year or two I will probably go ahead and declutter them I so funny I can remember where nine tenths of all of this came from if it wasn't Avon where I purchased it and why this necklace I wore when I achieved the number one position in Avon and I literally purchased it that morning from a jewelry store across the road from the hotel because I hadn't found a necklace yet today. I had the dress, but just had to find the necklace. And I couldn't believe that I had found it that morning. It was super exciting. There's some breast cancer pins in here as well. So I'll donate them because I have heaps um, down in my office as well. There are in here also my actual wedding ring and eternity ring they are still a little bit too big for me in some areas i am looking at getting them resized but it's just <laughs> added to the list of everything else to do and there's a few actual gold bracelet things there's a charm bracelet some bits of it are broken so i was looking at getting it fixed eventually although i might not wear it either i don't know so i'm just going to stick it all together and yeah i'll deal with that a little bit later as well
this is my nurse's watch coming up and there is no way I would be donating that. It cost me $90 and I purchased that at the university. I had saved so long to purchase that. I am very proud of myself that I bought that for myself. And as I said, I can remember it's $90. So I have my very good watch that's there and the bracelet that used to be my Nana's as well. And apart from the uh, top drawer, that it has a couple of decorative necklaces in it and a couple of other random earrings and stuff. That's all I'm keeping. So I've put it all in the box that's there as well as a little glass container and also going through the other little box that had a few just knick-knacky things in here, some bits of jewelry, some earrings and stuff like that. So I hope that when this gets donated they can make sense of it i was going to put all of it in individual little bags but it's pretty easy to work out none of it really is a set but like there's there's always two earrings together in a necklace so we put that back on the dressing table and then that is all that is going to go there i found this perfume atomizer thing that i'm not going to keep and so i'll add that to the pile now let's have a look at the totals that were here. Kira's been leaving me a couple of notes <laughs> when I've left this on my desk. So here are the totals that we've already done so far to start with. I didn't think we were going along very well, but each video just seems to be adding up and up and up. So this section of the house has taken me an extra two days and you can see we've pulled another 163 items out. So our total here is 624 items out of the house so far. I cannot believe it. I am really excited that it's all gone and it does feel very much lighter in here, but I also just can't believe that we have that many things here in the house. Thank you so much for watching those that do. I really appreciate you and I'm grateful for those who have been leaving positive feedback to say that it's encouraging and motivating you because I know you guys are watching. It's really encouraging and motivating me to keep going as well. So I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next video where we're going to be decluttering the bathroom. Oh my gosh. Stay tuned. See you later. Bye.